yes, the WSP Swarm. This was a weapon I honestly despised when this game first came out. I could not figure out how to build this weapon properly, and I truthfully really did not enjoy it. After I did my research on attachments and what things like fire aiming stability, along with certain kinds of recoil control, I figured out how to build the weapon, and it became one of my favorites because it performs a lot like weapons like the Spitfire from Black Ops 4 or the Scorpion from Black Ops 2, the Vesper from Black Ops 3. It, it has those same kind of categories, an extremely aggressive, fast fire rate weapon that you do need to put the right attachments on Otherwise, it becomes unusable. Thank you guys can see where this is going. We're targeting recoil control. Starting with my first attachment is the FSS Fortress Heavy Stock 4 Gun Pit Control, Recoil Control, and Fire Aiming Stability. Rather self-explanatory attachment that will significantly help that recoil category at 20% to the gun kick, 14% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. Over here to my rear grip, we have the Marauder Grip, even more gun kick, and recoil control self-explanatory here, not as nearly as close of values as the stock, but 10% to the gun kick along with 7% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control here. For my magazine, I am going with the 50 round mag. I know a lot of people like to use like the 100 round drum, not my personal preference because you do sacrifice a lot of aim down sight speed there. The 50 is my sweet spot. It is a preference at the end of the day. For my muscle, I'm using the L4R flash hider. It's only gonna take away a small bit of aim down sight speed, but we are getting a very good amount of recoil control in return. 13% to the gun kick, 10% to the horizontal recoil control, and 13% to the vertical recoil control. I feel like this is an attachment that the pros outweigh the cons. Sure, it does take away 8% of aim down sight speed, but I think this amount of recoil is necessary to kind of round out the build. And my final attachment here is the WSP Reckless 90 Long Barrel. That's gonna increase your bullet velocity and damage range along with an extra increase to both gun kick and recoil control. So the gun kick and recoil control is a nice added bonus, but that bullet velocity and damage range are the important ones. We're gonna gain 32% there to the damage range, 24% to the bullet velocity. So here's all those attachments. If you guys wanted to pause the video to copy it down, I want you guys to go down in the comment section and let me know if you guys agree with my take on this thing. Is it a weapon like the Spitfire, the Vesper, the Scorpion? Or do you guys think it's kind of different than anything we've had in Call of Duty history? I've, I've seen that take before. I've seen that this thing's never been seen before, but at the same time, I feel like it's just a reskin version of those. Definitely performs a little different, but a close range monster just like those. Here's also the rest of my loadout on the screen that you guys can also copy down if you guys want. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me as always. Let's jump into a very aggressive gameplay here with the WSP Swarm. Hope you guys enjoy. So during my car 98 video, I was getting torched by somebody with a WSP Swarm and I went back and looked and realized I haven't really covered this thing in a long time. By a long time, it was like the beginning of season three. So we are actually approaching like four months because seasons are two months. If seasons are two months, right? And I covered it at the beginning of season three, that would be correct, about four months, probably closer to like, I would say three months and three weeks, something like that. Okay. Tokyo is normally fast paced and it doesn't feel that way at the moment, but maybe they just took a flank route and I missed them. I don't know where this guy, oh, here we go. That UAV definitely helped. That hurt. All right, so if we get howdy, I was about to say we go this way. We should run into a couple. That was a bad fight on my end, truthfully. Not a great choice of fight there, but I actually think I might have just spawned behind him. Isn't this where I just challenged? No, must have been. No, it definitely was because that was the guy I just killed. I just saw one cross right there. That was not him, but I think that means I'm in their spawn. Changing map. Maybe not. Some mats. The way my team is positioned right now, I'm not actually sure. Because we're on both sides. Normally, that's not how that works. Got a teammate on a five kill streak here. He's in the window with a snipe. See what I mean? This map's normally so fast paced and I'm not really running into people. Somebody just died over here. 
Got a UAV. Two piece, okay. Now we can push the hill. Team's losing, so I gotta. I don't know how I killed him. Literally couldn't see him. Gotta pay attention to the OBJ. My team is a better team at slaying out, but definitely not. Definitely not on the OBJ front. I'm going to hit this. I can't push this, dude. Right, I can't push this. I'm going to actually go around the back. I'm going to hit this, go around the back, put it right in middle. Oh, they're rotating and stuff. Oh, I actually got that kill. Hopefully the beats hole will kind of keep them off of the hill for a second because I gotta, uh, I gotta get this. Got another advance. I'm literally a couple kills off here. Yeah, I'm stuck. I gotta get it now or I'm stuck. There we go. Time to win the game. Gonna need a big comeback here. I'm not even gonna chase those kills. I'm gonna go to the objective. I can't see. Oh my God. I'm fighting for my life out here. We're gonna hit the rotation here. That was a big, big VTOL. Bad news is I don't know where they're gonna be at. All right, 53. Stop. I shouldn't have even peeked. I had no reason to peek there. If I would have just stayed put, I probably would have just been able to hold that time. All right. Now we should just, in theory, just have to watch this way here. I believe my whole team. Yeah, we should be. Okay, we're getting pinched. Yeah, I called it. We were getting pinched. They pushed both sides of us. If you guys didn't know what a pinch was, it's when they converge from multiple different angles. Normally two, but a lot of objectives don't have more than two ways in. Normally it's like, th normally it's two, sometimes three. 
but the normal The normal is, in theory, if there's two doorways, they come from each side and they converge on you. So that one has three. So they chose two angles and they converged on the objective. Teammates are doing a good job now on the objective, actually. We're slowly bringing this lead back because we were down by a lot. So my goal here is to get around the back so they don't spawn behind us because this hill is very reliant on an anchor to the spawn. And it looks like we got it. Which means, in theory, if my team plays the proper way, they shouldn't... They shouldn't be... They should only be in front of us. They should come from that way and this way here. I don't even know where that guy came from. This is good. This should get us a lead. One guy is hitting the back, though. I don't think there's... No, he spawned there. It was just a weird spawn. Teammate picked it right up. All right, let's go with this. Go there. Wait for that VTOL to come in. Bam. Now, if we push through here, well, that's going to slow my progress down, but still get here. This is working to plan. Working to plan for sure. I somehow just got a second DNA bomb. We like that. That should clear the hill. There, push that team. Yep. That should win us. Yes, sir. 109 kills over on Tokyo.